Welcome to the illustration of Shannon Fano algorithm. This algorithm uses a technique for constructing a prefix code based on set of symbols and their probabilities. In short, it's an algorithm used to compress the string. So the problem statement is to encode a given string using Shannon Fano algorithm. And the given string is Malayalam Madam, which spells as M A L A Y A L A M space M A D A M, which is 15 characters long. So here are the steps which are used for Shannon Fano algorithm. Step 1 Sort the symbols according to the frequency count of their occurrences. Step 2 Recursively divide the symbols into two parts each with approximately the same number of counts until all the parts contain only one symbol. Now let's see the different characters in the given string. In the given string, the character A appears 6 times, the character M appears 4 times, the character L appears 2 times, the character space appears only once, the character Y appears only once, and finally the character T appears once as well. So here is the summary which is the symbols and their count. Now let's see the tree structure to illustrate the working of the algorithm. Initially all the different characters which are present in the string are grouped together and the total length is recorded. This is split up into two branches, branch 0 and branch 1. Branch 0 contains the character A which has count 6 and branch 1 contains the remaining characters M, L, space, Y, D, which have the total count of 9. Now this group is again divided into two branches, branch 0 and branch 1. Branch 0 containing character M with 4 counts and branch 1 containing the remaining characters L, space, Y, D with the total count of 5. Now this is split up again into two branches, branch 0 and branch 1. Branch 0 containing character L with two counts and branch 1 containing the remaining characters space Y and D with three counts. This group is split up again into two branches, branch 0 and branch 1. Branch 0 containing space which has one count and branch 1 containing Y and D which have two count. And finally this is split up into branch 0 and branch 1 with branch 0 containing character Y which has only one count and branch 1 containing character D which has one count as well. Now here is the summary of the tree structure. This table includes symbol, count, log 1 by PI to the base 2, code and the number of bits used. For the symbol A, the count is 6 and the code value represents the path from the root to the symbol. So, the path from root to the symbol A is branch 0, so hence the code 0. And the formula for calculating the number of bits used is count into the number of characters used to represent the code. Here, the count is 6 and the number of characters used to represent the code 0 is 1. Hence, the number of bits used is equal to 6 into 1, which is equal to 6. Now, the value PR represents the probability of occurrence of the symbol. Now, the probability of occurrence of symbol A is its count divided by the total number of characters in the given string, that is 6 divided by 15. The log 1 by PI to the base 2 indicates the amount of information held by the symbol. Hence, the amount of information held by the symbol A is 1.322. Similarly, the different values for M, L, space, Y, D are calculated and tabulated in this table. Now, the formula is applied for calculating the entropy and the formula is eta is equal to summation from i is equal to 0 to n pi log 1 by pi to the base 2. Now, the values from the table are substituted in this equation and finally the value of entropy is found out. The value of entropy represents the average amount of information contained per symbol in the given string. In other words, it represents the minimum average number of bits required to represent each symbol.
After expansion and substitution of the values in the equation, the value of eta or the entropy is 2.2062. That is 2.2062 number of bits are required to represent each symbol. Now let's have a quick comparison. By using default ASCII encoding, we require 8 bits per symbol. But using Shannon Pano coding, we get only 2.2062 bits per symbol. And the compression ratio is calculated using the formula total number of bits before compression divided by total number of bits after compression. So the total number of bits before compression are 15 into 8 and the total number of bits after compression is 15 into 2.2062 so the compression ratio equals to 3.626